everybody. What is up? It is Rosa and welcome to another uh, weekly check-in video. Today we are doing week three check-in for August, meaning it's also a new paycheck check-in. So as you can see, the second week of August, I did get paid. So we're kind of starting a new paycheck kind of scale, which you can see right here that I wrote down on a green sticky note. So um, for grocery, I have 75 for the pay period gas I have 80 for the pay period inventory I have $44.31 for the inventory entertainment or inventory for the week I have entertainment for $50 eating out for $50 and unbudgeted for zero so as you can see I do color coordinate everything and it's been kind of difficult dealing with that so probably in October I may not color coordinate anything because I, it's just fine with me seeing exactly what sold I really don't need to be color co coordinated as you can see I'm checking which colors go with which of the budgets so I should be going ahead and getting started right now all right, so on payday, I actually made two grocery purchases. Um, we bought paper plates because, yes, we do use paper plates in this household. We didn't for a while, but then we got over washing plates all the time that we just to start buying plates from Amazon. And those were $19.99, and that goes into the grocery fund. Then we have some makeup wipes. We can't live without our makeup wipes. I buy a four pack of Neutrogena makeup wipes for $19.60 on Amazon as well. So those were the purchases that I made on the 9th. So on the 10th, I made two purchases. That day was the day I had to pick up my dress from David's Bridal, my wedding dress. So I had to drive a little bit. And so I filled up my gas with $54.68 worth of gas, which is a full tank for me. And then after that, we went to Crepe Fine for lunch. So I did have to use some of my eating out budget for that. You're going to see we are eating out quite a lot this week, which kind of sucked. I didn't really want to do that, but alas, it just ended up happening. So I spent $21.57 at Crepe Fine, but I got the Roma large salad or the Athena large salad. And it is so good. If you ever got, if you guys ever go to Crepe Fine, definitely go and check out that salad over there. All right, so now I kind of made it a little bit easier to write on for me. I did fold over the calendar because we are working with the last half of the month, or the, sorry, the last half of the week. And on the 11th, we did pick up some stuff. So Richard does work for an alcoholic retailer. Um, they sell alcohol there. So he did purchase some new beers for us to try, which was out of our eating out fund. And it was $17. And those beers were like these, I think they were the Modelo Gold. And they are 2.5 carbs. So if you guys are on keto, you can try those beers. And then I did have an unexpected kind of, um, an unexpected budget and this was $24 I had to purchase some brake pads for my brakes because my brakes were terrible Richard's dad kindly installed them for us so I didn't have to go to the shop which would have cost like 80 to 100 bucks I just had to pay for the brake pads and we got the really good brake pads so that's why they were $24 normally they're cheaper if you want to get the cheese but we don't play games here in the Clash of Benegas household so we got the good ones and Richard's dad just installed it for us so Thank you, Ricardo, for installing them for us. So on the 12th, we did actually go grocery shopping. Richard went grocery shopping. I just transferred him the $75 that I had for my account for groceries. So I did spend $75 on groceries. He ended up going to grocery outlet, I think, and spending a little bit, um, I think exactly half. So he spent 75 and I spent 75. So that was our entire budget for this pay period, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And then I ended up buying lunch that day at work because to be honest, we had no food. So I had to buy a lunch. I forget what I bought, but $15.28, which is super expensive and I really didn't want to pay for it. But alas, sometimes you got to pay for food when you don't have any food at home. We went grocery or he went grocery shopping during the day. So yeah, that's why I had lunch. We didn't have groceries yet. 
So on the 13th, my favorite shows went live on Amazon Prime. So I purchased an episode of Bachelor in Paradise, which is awesome. Um, For some reason, there wasn't another one. I thought because there's usually two in a week. So I was kind of shocked why I didn't have one on Wednesday. But on Tuesday, I paid for $1.99 for Bachelor in Paradise and then $1.99 for The Hills. I'm currently binge watching um, Big Brother. I know that's also trash TV, but I've been like obsessed with trash TV, trash game shows recently. So I paid $5.99 for the month of August to watch CBS All Access so I could try to binge watch all of the Big Brother uh, from season 15 this whole month. So that's what I've been like literally watching every time I get home. I just binge watch a couple episodes. And then finally, Richard went to um, Buffalo Wild Wings. So he spent $24 there which is out of our budget and he went there and he took his groomsmen to go get their suits so that's what happened there and then on the 14th um, I did end up uh, refinancing my student loans but I did pay on the 14th just in case and I also ended up buying some stickers there was like some weird sale on this thrifty i think that's the website and they had 50 disney princess stickers for eleven dollars and 95 cents so i ended up buying those just for like my packages and stuff i thought it was worth it i definitely like that website and will be purchasing more if they are good stickers and then i had to buy my contact lenses and i thought my insurance would actually go with it but alas now since i have two different contact prescriptions they're more expensive so i did have to pay 26 dollars out of my own pocket And then finally, on the 15th, I had a no spend. So I don't normally spend money on Thursdays. It's just like not a thing. So I ended up not spending any money on Thursday. So now we're going to be doing some calculations. We're going to go to the weekly check-in page and start our calculations. So first, we're going to start with grocery. So grocery, like I mentioned, was... Let me go ahead to that page because I'm using my planner to do this voiceover. I spent uh, $75 at the grocery store plus plates and makeup wipes. And so the total for that is actually $114.59. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. It does say I am writing in week two, but that's actually week three. So that's just what's going on right there. It's going to be week three. So it ended up being, like I mentioned, $114.59. So I will be putting that down. All right, so now we're going to go to our gas category. And the gas was only one time pump for that pay or that week, I'm sorry. And it was $54.68. That is how much I spent on gas. So I'm going to go back to the weekly check in and put down $54.68 for gas. Now I do have to fill up again for the next weekly check in. So you'll see that later. And I will talk about why I needed to fill up again. So for inventory, I spent zero this week on inventory. I'm actually going tomorrow to Savers. So I will probably be going over $44.31. But they are having a huge 50% off sale on all of their summer clothes plus 99 cent sale on on all of their t-shirts. So it'll be a good day to try to find some goodies there. So for entertainment, I spent a whole $3.98 for entertainment. Um, I only purchased the two things. Um, The last week was where I purchased CBS All Access. So I will not be counting it towards this week. I'm going to go ahead and write down $3.98 for entertainment. All right, so next we're going into unbudgeted. Now, unbudgeted, you never want to go through unbudgeted, but this is why we have these categories. So I will end up probably pulling from other categories to pay for the unbudgeted. We did have a couple of unbudgeted items like the brake pads and the contacts as well as the stickers. And so the total for that was $61.95. So that's not very good. But listen, sometimes unbudgeted happens and you just have to deal with it. Ya I mean? And then finally, we have the eating out category. So for eating out, we did eat out quite a bit this week. Like I mentioned, I had to have lunch on Tuesday. Uh, Richard bought some beers on Sunday. Um, Rich went out to Buffalo Wild Wings on Tuesday. And then I purchased something from Grapevine on Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of those up. And I'm going to go to my eating out category. And I spent... 
exactly $60.85 on eating out this week. Rich and I both did. So unfortunately, that does look kind of sad. So I'm going to go ahead and take my green sticky note and start doing the math on how much I have left to spend. So for grocery, we have negative $39 we're allowed to spend for the next week, which is kind of scary considering the fact that we need food. So we'll have to see what we do about that. For gas, I have $25.32 left for this paycheck, which I did go over sneak peek for next paycheck or next week. So that is $25.32 again. For inventory, I still have mold $44.31 that I will be spending tomorrow, but that will be for the next check-in. For entertainment, I do have $46.02 left for entertainment. So I will be using the $46.02 to go into other types of spending. So yeah, that's that. And then we have zero for unbudgeted because obviously we don't want to spend any more. Nothing's ever remaining in budgeted. And then for eating out, we actually have negative $10.85 for eating out, which is also kind of sad because now I have to tell Rich that we can't eat out at all this weekend, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. We have food here. It's not a problem. We can just eat the food here. So that is actually everything for today's video. Um, Obviously, this was not the best week. It's a lot of negatives, unfortunately, but we do have some rollover from entertainment and eating, not not eating out, sorry, entertainment. So we'll probably be using that $46 towards other things. We do have some good news, though. We did pay off almost all of our wedding, which is awesome. So we just have a couple thousand left on other random things here and there, but I can finally start really honing down on our debt avalanche so i'm super excited also in september we will be finally bringing our finances together and you will be seeing in a uh, home finance but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and like this video if you liked it and i will see you guys all in the next video Yo, what's up? i'm the mad hatter. i'll pour you tea please don't let it spread does it really matter because i'm the mad hatter. <laughs>